Hello boys and girls, this is Ms. Garcia and this instructional video is for Monday, September 7, 2020 and it is for your English class. So today's assignment is really simple. You're only going to do one worksheet um, and part of it, well this two-page worksheet, the top part is just notes. So I'm going to go over those notes really quick and then the bottom part will be the assignment that you will do on your own. So this, for this week, we're, for today, we're working on end marks and abbreviations, when to use the correct punctuation. An end mark is a mark of punctuation placed at the end of a sentence. Periods, question marks, exclamation points. These are all end marks. You put them at the end of a sentence. Okay, so we use a period at the end of a statement, for example. A chef's salad contains meat, cheese, tomatoes, and greens. That is just a statement. It's not asking you anything. It's not exclaiming anything. It is just a simple statement. So we use a period. We also use a question mark at the end of a question. Did you call Coloma yet? Because you're asking something, we have to, add, we have to use a question mark. Um, we also use exclamation points at the end of an exclamation, at the end of something you're saying with a lot of enthusiasm. For example, what a wonderful dancer you are. Because it's got more enthusiasm, we add an exclamation point. And we can use either a period or an exclamation point at the end of a request or a command. For example, please hold the door. That is a simple request and you're not saying it with any um, enthusiasm or any strong emotion, so you're going to put just a period. However, if it's something more urgent and you're using a lot more emotion, you'd say, you'd use the exclamation point, for instance, open the door this instant. For example, when your mom or your dad is telling you to do something that you did not do, you forgot to do, and you, she, they already told you several times to do it, they might be more upset and have more emotion. Something like that would be written with an exclamation point. We also use periods after most abbreviations. For example, with names, E, B, white. This would be first initial, second initial, last name. Okay, Livy, I, Duran. Okay, this initial would have um, a period. Titles used with names, Mrs., Miss, Mr., Dr., Junior, Senior, since we are not writing the entire word out, you're abbreviating it, or they're using the title, you're going to put a period. For organizations and companies, for example, um, a company, an incorporation, an association, because you're not writing out the full word and you're abbreviating the word, meaning you're making it smaller, you're going to use a period to show that you're only going to use part of that. We also do these abbreviations with months of the year. Okay. Um, addresses, street. Instead of writing out street, you just put ST, period. Road, avenue, a, a PO box, a postal office box. Or with times, AM, PM, AD. For those times, we use periods instead of writing out the entire word. But sometimes we have abbreviations that do not have periods. For example, the IRS, the CIA, the FBI. State abbreviations followed by a zip code. In this case right here, Washington. We do not put a period because the state abbreviations do not go with the period when you're using it with a zip code. Um, units of measure, such as kilograms, millimeters, centimeters, uh, pints, gallons, pounds, feet, inches. They do not use periods. Um, a few widely used abbreviations are these. Okay. Now, note here, inch, inches is abbreviated only because we have this word that it can be confused with. So we abbreviate the word, or we abbreviate FT for foot, and we do not add a period, but with inches, because we have a word that says in, 
we do have to put a period. Okay, and if we're not sure, we can always look in a dictionary. So these are the, these are the, this is the assignment you will be using today, doing today. Adding end marks to sentences. So you're going to see how brave those firefighters were. Okay, you're not asking, so what end, what end punctuation would be the best one to use here? It's not a question, but you're still saying it with emotion. Um, in exercise two, proofreading for the correct use. So here you're just going to check what were they used correctly or not. And you're going to write a C if it's correct. And if it needs to be corrected, then you will correct it. All right, guys, this should be a quick and easy assignment. I know abbreviations and uh, punctuation isn't anything new, but it's just something to brush up on. Good luck.